I am Anil Kumar and in these set of videos we will consider trigonometric equations where two ratios are involved. So this equation is sin x plus cos x minus 1 equals to 0. We need to solve for x where x is between 0 to 2 pi. As you can see there is no easy way to do it. Now how to solve such an equation? Best way is we can actually take cos x minus 1 on the other side. So we get sin x equals to 1 minus cos x. So we'll just rearrange and then we square both sides. So we can do sin square x equals to 1 minus cos x whole square. Now once we square we can actually write equation in the form of quadratic in one ratio, right? So so we squared both sides. But remember one thing, whenever you square both sides, you will result into some error. Error because minus 1 square becomes 1. That is an error, right? You know that is not equal. To. But this error is caused by squaring, right? So whatever solution you get for the equation, it is a must to check that solution and then write down the final answer. So that's a caution. Okay. Now let's continue. Now we can write sine square x as 1 minus cos square x on the left side and we can expand this right side as 1 minus 2 cos x plus cos square x. Let's bring uh, the cosine terms together on the right side. So we get 0 equals to 1 and 1 cancel out. So we have cos square x on this and then we have plus cos square x already there okay minus 2 cos x now this is 2 cos square x so we can take let me first write 2 cos square x minus 2 cos x equals to 0 we'll factor 2 cos x and we'll get cos x minus 1 so that means uh, we have two factors and either one of them could be zero to provide us with the solutions. So one of the solution could be when 2 cos x equals to zero and the other one is when cos x equals to one. Correct? In the domain zero to two pi, we know possible solutions for x, cos x equals to zero is when x is equals to pi by two or 3 pi by 2, right? As far as cos x equals to 1 is concerned, the solutions could be 0 and 2 pi, right? This is when cos x is equal to 0, right? So these are possible solutions. As you know, there could be an error. So let us check solution now. So if I write pi by 2. So if I write pi by 2, so let us check for, let us say pi by 2. So if I write pi by 2 in this equation, which is sin x plus cos x minus 1 equals to 0. So we know for pi by 2, sin is 1 but cos is 0. So so it works, right? So, so 1 minus 1 is 0. It works. If I write 3 pi by 2, 3 pi by 2, then sine of 3 pi by 2 is is minus 1 right so that minus 1 and cos of 3 pi by 2 is 0 right but sine is minus 1 so that does not work so we get on the left side so left side is equals to minus 2 and it is not equal to 0 so 3 pi by 2 does not work for us now if i use 0 and 2 pi both these values will give us 1 for cos and 0 for sine. So they work, right? So they are perfectly fine. So after checking, we know finally our solution is what? So the answer for us will be, so 3 pi by 2 is not correct, but others are fine, right? So we have pi by 2, 0 and 2 pi as the solution for the given equation, right? I hope you understand and appreciate it. So whenever you square both sides, you incorporate error. Therefore, you need to check your solution. 
So what we found here is sine of 3 pi by 2 is minus 1. So minus 1 minus 1 will result into minus 2, not 0, right? But the other values are perfectly fine. So we have the solution for the equation, which is three solutions, 0, pi by 2, and 2 pi. Now I'd like you to solve one similar question, and let me copy this question for you. So question for you to practice is sine x plus 2 cosine x instead of uh, uh, 1, I'll put 2 cosine x minus 1 equals to 0. So solve this in the same domain, 0 to 2 pi, right? 0 to 2 pi, correct? Remember, you need to check the solution before writing the final answer. I hope that helps. Thank you.